Thank you. Thank you, Jean. And uh, it's my pleasure to be here. And uh, thank the organizers for inviting me for the conference. And my topic is the density and equality of public health service in Shanghai. And uh, as we all know, that and uh, is the main theme of this uh, conference that improving the public health services that are available to all citizens should be pursued as uh, one of uh, the main purposes of a strategy of large scale urbanization. The changing spatial structure of rapidly growing mega cities in China, coupled with its institutional history and its, its institutional arrangements, creates a dis uh, distinct relationship between urban density and health care services within and between the core and the peripheral areas of cities. Uh, firstly, uh, we could see some spatial imbalance of health services between city core and uh, uh, the outskirts uh, area. And due to the institutional legacy of urban-rural separation in China that favored investments and services in cities, urban areas have better health facilities than rural ones. In most of the Chinese cities, there is a greater concentration of health care facilities in the urban core than in the outskirts and the administratively linked rural around the uh, area beyond. Take Shanghai for the example that uh, it is uh, for, uh, for the city core, the uh, number of hospital and the health institutions per square kilometers is 9.4. Uh, while the average is 0 0.5 and uh, the, uh, the fringe of city core is uh, 3.9 and outskirt is 0 0.6. And for the hospital beds uh, per square kilometers and the physicians per square kilometer have si similar uh, distribution. And uh, can, if we considering the, that uh, the overcrowd and uh, over density in, 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 in city core, even we take, take the indicator, in indicator of the uh, health service distribution per capita, we can see even the, the number of uh, hospital and, uh, and uh, uh, health institutions per thousand persons in city core is 2.7, is also uh, far more better than the uh, Shanghai's average and the hospital uh, beds and uh, per thousand uh, people uh, also have two to three times the average of the Shanghai municipality and five to six times its suburban suburban area. And this population listed here is a permanent population of 23 million. If we just take the whole population of 14 million, the gap is over even more serious. And uh, this uh, figure shows the population density change from 2000 to 2010. The dark uh, color is population density lower than 20,000 uh, per square kilometers. And the circle is, uh, over, uh, is lower than 10,000 uh, uh, per square kilometers. And from two, uh, two, uh, 2000 to 2010, the, China, uh, the, the Shanghai's population increased from the uh, 16 million to 23 million. And uh, we can see that uh, in the city core, it is a uh, keep uh, stable uh, around the 7 million, while in, in the sub, sub uh, uh, outskirts area, it increased very fast uh, in, uh, from uh, increased uh, almost 7%. So it uh, this, this deteriorates the, the back inferior situation of health service in outskirts. And the, ne the next point is the, uh, the spatial imbalance of health care facilities and services also have impacts of population redistribution process. It not only lowers the access of people living in these new suburban communities to health care, but also reduces their motiv motivation of this place of, to, of central city residents who contemplate moving. And uh, we, if we take the example of aging population, the, the uh, Shanghai's aging degree take the criteria of 65 years old. The average aging degree in Shanghai is uh, 
uh, uh, less than uh, is ta about 10 percent, while the, the aging degree in city is 16 to 17 percent, while in the outskirts it is just 6 percent. But the older people uh, is reluctant, two minutes, okay, uh, is reluctant to move out the, because of the poor health uh, service in, 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 in city core. While the, uh, and this also have a uh, uh, typical phenomena of the separation of the resident place and the hukou uh, uh, hu place because the social welfare is based on the hukou and that deteriorates this gap. And uh, there are also increasing inequalities of access to population uh, uh, health, uh, health service among different peoples. And uh, this uh, table shows uh, one research uh, conducted in 2006. We can see that uh, uh, from statistical uh, significant that uh, the uh, female uh, have more demanding for hair services and the uh, higher income people have more significant uh, uh, demanding for hair services. And this is a logistical regression, so the similar uh, findings. And, and the, we can see the inequality of health care facilities and the services in an obvious phenomena of enlarging social inequalities and polarizations is between the poor and the between uh, rich people. And uh, there are huge differences between high quality arises community and the poor communities. And uh, more important uh, is a very, another important phenomenon is a large amount of migrants that Shanghai have nine million migrants while the migrants have less uh, access to uh, medical insurance and medical service. As a result, even though many migrants have lived in Shanghai for a long time, most of them do not have med medical insurance and cannot afford to pay for the relatively higher health service in Shanghai. So this disparity creates a major source of potential social discontent and over time a less healthier worker for us. So there are two kinds of inequality of health access. One is health access uh, between spatial uh, disparity. One is disparity among different population groups. For the first kind of inequality, it needs to better planning and uh, make a balance of uh, health provision. And for the second, and kind of inequality, it is related to the, to the system, related to the institution. So a better government and a better institutional elements, uh, arrangements and a better uh, uh, falling to the demanding of and the rights of different people is important. Thank you.